Welcome to Amazing Trails Yoga, Woodstock Yoga. Today we are at Bethel, which is where the very famous Woodstock Festival was held back in 1969 with over 450,000 people. It was supposed to be at Woodstock, New York, but they couldn't get their permits in time and things like that, so it ended up here in Bethel. And we are hiking the Binding Bazaar Trail. And this is the Bindy Bazaar Trail. This is where a lot of the people that were there came to get some shelter from the sun, a little escape from the sun. And there were many booths here with different crafts from all, all over the world. It was like really fun here. Was, this is also called the Magic Forest where people would come to find themselves. And it's really amazing to be here, right? Where so much history occurred. And I remember back in 1969, I was nine years old, so you could do the math if you like. And I just remember my mom complaining that the quick way, which is what was State Route 17, was so backed up. We're like 45 minutes south of this area and it was backed up for miles and miles for, I don't even know how long, but I do remember her mentioning that. And that's all I remember about Woodstock. So here we are and we will be focusing on sunflower and moonflower movements. We'll be doing a lot of movement as if there's music going uh, uh, along here for days and days and we're just following the rhythm of the music. So we will sit in Sukhasana, easy pose. Our hips nice gently on the mat, our shoulders right over our hips, nice and straight. We're taking a nice inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Take, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. We're making semicircles with our necks over to the left. Drop our chin to the right. Drop our chin to the left. You don't have to sit too rigid. Chin to the center and back. You can move around a little bit. Take our chin to the center, to the left. We're coming all the way around. And to the right, dropping and all the way around getting all the kinks out of our necks, all the cobwebs, and going around. Very nice, sitting upright. We'll take our bodies, the upper parts of our bodies, and we're going to the right and swinging over to the left. Coming around to the right around to the left we're going to the rhythm of the beat and another time to the left and up and now we're going to go to the right and all the way around we'll make some full circles very nice just loosening up getting ourselves ready for the day and up. Now we'll take our left ear to our left shoulder, drop our chin into the right, drop our chin into the left, drop our chin to the right, just semicircles with our necks and over to the left. Now we'll drop our chin to the center, come to the right, and full neck circles. Around. Very nice, getting all the kinks out, the cobwebs. And coming to the center. We'll lean over to the left and make semicircles with our bodies. And back. Coming forward and back. Coming forward and back. This will be a little dance yoga. We're coming around all the way around, making nice circles with our upper torso. 
Very lovely, a lot of fun. And coming up, we'll inhale our arms up and down. Now let's extend our left leg out to the side. The sole of our right foot is on the inside of our left leg. We'll take our blocks. If you like to put your arms on the blocks, you may. So we are inhaling forward. We're taking our arms, maybe our forearms to the mat. We're arching back. So you're coming forward. You can go on the blocks if you like. Arching back. Coming forward. If you like the blocks, you don't have to use them. Coming up. And now we'll come forward with our chest and we're dropping our chest to the blocks, toward the blocks. You could put your third eye on the blocks. Just coming in for a nice stretch for three deep breaths. our hands back. Take your left hand to your right knee. Inhale your right arm up and over. You could maybe go toward your left leg and back. Bring your right arm up, over and back. Your right arm comes up, over. Nice side stretch and back. Now bring your right arm up. It's on the outside of your left leg. Your left arm comes to the inside of your left leg. And we're bringing our chest toward our leg and rounding up. You could just move your hands any way you want. Your chest is down and back. You're just rounding your back, coming toward your foot away toward your foot away and the last time we're coming toward our foot and with our chest maybe resting on our leg we could take our blocks to the side having a nice stretch to the left leg At the base of your last exhale, we'll walk our, our slide, our hands back up our legs. Take our right arm up and around behind us. We'll lift our left arm and our pelvic up to the sky and down. And just making a nice little swing like a dance. Up and down. Very good. Up, we're swaying to the music. And down, very nice. Take your, bend your left leg and have the soles of your feet meet. We're in Baddha Konasana, which is a butterfly pose. Maybe hold your feet together. We're fluttering our wings. Butterflies are free to fly. They might have played that song there. I'm not positive. And we're doing the same motion. We're bringing our chest forward, our shoulder blades back and around. Forward and around. Forward and around. Now on the forward, we're coming forward and we're going to stay forward any way that's good for you. You could maybe put your forearms on your block, drop your head, and breathe. And we're slowly coming up and extending our right leg out to the side. Your left foot comes to the inside of your right leg. Very, very nice. So we're inhaling, we're taking our chest forward, our shoulder blades back. We're coming toward the front 
and arching back. We're just going in a circular motion. Very nice. Keep arching our back and curling it under. Arching our back. This is a seated cat cow. Thought that was a bug. Now on the way down, you could take your blocks again, put your forearms to your blocks. You could drop your head and take some nice breaths. And at the base of your last exhale, we're coming up. Take your right hand to your left knee. Inhale your right arm up and over bring it back around so it's up and over and you're just bringing it in a circular motion up and over toward your right leg just stretching our left side up and over just moving to the flow up and over take your left arm to the outside of your right thigh or your right calf rather your right arm to the inside and now you are twisting your pelvic so you're facing your right foot and dropping your head to your knee and we're coming up you could do any little trick with your hands however way you want coming down to our right foot coming up to the rhythm of the music and down Coming up and down. And one more time, we're coming up, around, and coming down. You can place your third eye to your knee, to your calf, anywhere that you can reach. You could even use your blocks, whatever works for you. At the base of your last exhale, we're coming back up our leg. We'll take our left arm up and around behind us, tent our fingers behind us, and we're inhaling our right arm up and our pelvic comes up and swinging it down. Coming up and swinging it down. Coming up and swinging down very nice we'll take our left leg and straddle very nice so we're in a nice seated straddle if you're if this is uncomfortable you could always put blocks under your legs your legs don't have to be perfectly straight and we're doing the same thing so we're dropping our chest to the ground and then we're coming up and around Chest to the ground, up and around. Chest to the ground, up and around. And on the last one, our chest to the ground. You can use your blocks, whatever way is good for you. We're taking some nice breaths in a seated straddle. our hands back. We'll bend our left leg and our right. The soles of our feet are together. And again, this is butterfly pose. We could flap our wings and we're bringing our chest forward, coming down to our feet and around. Coming forward in a circular motion at your own pace or mine. And one more time, we'll come forward, up, and here we are. Bring your knees up toward the sky. We'll fishtail our feet around. My mat is getting totally filthy. And we'll meet in child pose, which is Balasana. You could separate your legs if you like, your knees if you like. 
your feet are together, you sit back on your heels, your arms come out in front and you drop your third eye to the mat. Nice resting pose, child pose. We're lifting our shoulders a bit. Take your right hand, slide it toward you. You're threading the needle. Your palm is up toward the sky and drop your right ear to the mat. Take some nice breaths. Then bring your right arm back. You're unthreading the needle and slide it up toward your left hand. We'll walk our hands over to the left. Your seat is still on your heels. You might want to pick up your abs so that they can come over the top of your thighs and drop down to the ground. Now we'll walk our hands over to the side of the mat and let's keep going over toward the right. Keep your seat at your heels. Pick your abba, abs up so that they come over the top of your thigh and drop down. Can walk your hands back to the side of the mat. Take your left arm and bring it toward your sh left shoulder. Your palm is facing up toward the sky. You're threading the needle and dropping your left ear to the mat. And breathe. We'll unthread the needle, bring your left arm back through and have both hands up together. Maybe your thumbs can touch. And this looks a little easier than it really is. Keeping our forearms down to the mat as much as we can. We're sliding forward and we're coming up and around which seems to be the theme of today we're sliding forward and we're coming up straightening your arms and your seat to your heels we'll do that one more time we're sliding forward as close to the mat as you can coming up into upward dog and back into child pose very nice now we're going to simply Bring our seat up, we're coming up into tabletop, we're dropping our hips toward the mat, and seat to heels. Inhaling up, drop your pelvis to the mat, and seat to heels. We're coming up, arching our back, drop your seat to your heel, our no, no, no. Drop your pelvic to the mat and seat to heels. Very nice. We'll curl over our toes and we are straightening our legs and we're coming right up into a plank and we cannot be at Woodstock without doing rock star. So with your right leg being the support leg, bend your left leg at the knee and you're flipping it behind you over your right leg. Lift up your left arm up to the sky. Make a nice arch. Rock star. Plenty of rock stars here at Woodstock. And back into the plank. And we'll drop our knees to the mat and sit back on our heels. Without missing a beat, we're dragging our chin toward the mat along the mat. We're coming up into an upward facing dog and seat to heels. Coming as close to the mat as we possibly can. We're coming up, straightening our arms, seat to heels. We'll do that again. 
our chin. We're coming close, 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 close to the mat. Coming up, upward facing dog. And seat the heels. Now we'll do that in reverse. So we're arching our back up, dropping our pelvis to the mat, seat to heels. We're arching up, bringing our seat up, pelvis to the mat, seat to heels. And one more time, we're arching up, coming forward, pelvis to the mat, and seat to heels. Curling our toes under, we'll make our way up into plank. And this time our left leg is the support leg. We will bend our right leg at the knee. And as we flip it over our left side, we'll bring our right arm up, arch up into rock star. And bring it down and around so that we are in plank. We'll lift our heels, our seats up to the sky. Maybe walk your feet in a little bit. Downward facing dog. Could pedal your feet out. And we'll walk our hands nicely, our feet nicely up to meet our hands. Drop the crown of our head toward the mat. Grab opposite elbows with opposite hands and sway back and forth. Ragdoll. And we'll slowly come up one vertebrae at a time, bringing all our goodness up with us. Coming up into Tadasana, our palms could be facing each other in prayer. And we'll set an intention to the for the day, I'm sending all our love and energy out to all the musicians in the world that make the world a better place, a nicer place by making music. We all can appreciate music. Certain types of music put us in certain moods or when we're in a mood, we might want to listen to a, one type of music and then another type. There's, there's so many multitudes of music and so much talent out there. And we all do, I mean, music has enriched our lives. So we're just sending our love and energy out to all the musicians. And bring our hands down to our side. We can take your left leg out to the side and your right and take your toes diagonally to the sides of the mat. We're going to do the sunflower and moonflower movements. So with that, you're taking your hands facing out and you're bringing your hands up toward the sky. Your thumbs can touch and you're coming down. You're bending your legs. You could bring your elbows to your side. Your elbows could come all the way down to your thighs and up. This is sunflower, we're coming down and up. Some nice, nice movement, just flow with it. Really great for being here at Woodstock. Bethel actually. And we'll do the moon flower also. So with this, you bend your left knee and you lean over to the right and come around. You might want to widen your stance, your right knee and your left. And we're taking our arms out to the left. We're just swaying back and forth. Not too difficult. So moonflower and sunflower, how fitting to be here. And we'll come back up into five pointed star, our thumbs together and sunflower up and down breathe with it inhale exhale on the way down inhale up exhale down when we come up we'll inhale exhale your hands over to the right and you're bending your knee at the left 
and we'll come around over and around very nice a lot of movement sunflower moonflower and we're coming back up into five pointed star thumbs are together sunflower and up sunflower and up sunflower and up and we'll move to the right our arms and to the left so our arms go in opposite directions as our knees and then when we are over to the right with our knee our arms are over to the left you're taking your left heel and dropping it down your right foot you're pointing your toes to the side of the mat simply drop your left hand down your left leg and we are already in peaceful warrior peaceful warrior would everyone really loves to have peace in the world if possible bring your right arm around behind you you're clasping your fingers together your hands together taking your right shoulder to the inside of your right thigh humble warrior you're coming up facing with your chest facing your right foot we're coming up into warrior one slicing open to warrior two and five pointed star our feet are diagonally out to the mat and we'll sunflower down and up sunflower down and up sunflower down and up now we'll moonflower just sway to the side really nice you're getting it lovely then when our knee is pointed to the left we're taking our foot so that it is facing the side of the mat our heel you could bring your heel back and your big toe coming over to the left We'll drop our right arm. We're in peaceful warrior. From peaceful warrior, take your left hand behind you. Clasp your hands together. Interlace your fingers as you lower your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Humble warrior. Dropping the crown of your head to the mat. You will unlace your fingers and you're bringing your chest to top, your left thigh, coming up into warrior one, splicing open into warrior two and five pointed star. Fingers together, we'll come down to sunflower and up. Sunflower and up. Sunflower and up now we'll begin the swaying of the moon flower the sun and the moon in this magic forest so much history here boy the bindy bizarre trail my goodness and when our arms are to the left our knee is pointed to the right we'll take our toes out of our right foot and we're facing them to the side. We're bringing our left heel back, dropping our left hand into the peaceful warrior. Your right arm comes back behind you, interlacing your fingers, dropping our right shoulder to the inside of our right knee. Humble warrior. We're coming up into warrior one. Our palms are facing each other, splicing open to warrior two, five pointed star. And we're coming back into the sunflower and up, sunflower. 
and up, sunflower, and up, and now we'll sway back and forth into the moonflower movement. Very good. You can maybe have a little fun with your arms. And when your left leg is over to the left side, you could take your left foot, your toes could face the side, put your right heel back, we're in humble warrior. Bring your left arm around behind you, clasp your hands, interlace your fingers, dropping our left shoulder to the inside of our left knee, humble warrior. Unlacing our fingers, our palms are facing each other into warrior one, slicing over warrior two, and five-pointed star. We have it, sunflower. Our last round, sunflower. Maybe your thumbs can touch, sunflower. And coming up, and then we're swaying to the moonflower movement. Put your arms in, make some nice movements, make this dance your own. And then when our arms are to the left and our right knee is bent, again, take your toes so that they are facing the side of your mat. Your heel can go back, maybe your toes forward a bit. We're coming into Peaceful Warrior. If you want, you can straighten your right leg for a deeper, peaceful warrior. And then bending it, take your right arm behind you, palms together, interlace your fingers, coming down to the inside of your right knee. Humble warrior. You can straighten your right leg. Whoa, I'm a little off balance here. Straighten your right leg if you like for a deeper stretch. And you could re-bend it. You're coming up into the warrior one, warrior two, five-pointed star, and the sunflower. And you're breathing. Now we're going to do the moonflower and swaying. Nice. When your left leg is bent, your arms are to the right. Take your left toes so that they're facing the side of the mat. Bring your right heel back further. We could come into the peaceful warrior. Straighten your left leg if you want a deeper stretch, a deeper peaceful warrior. You could re-bend your left leg, bring your left arm back behind you, interlace your fingers as we bring our left shoulder to the inside of our left knee, dropping your head. You can straighten your left leg if you like. Now you could re-bend it, take both hands to either side of your left leg, coming up into the warrior one, warrior two, five-pointed star, bring your heels a little bit together. We'll heel toe, heel toe. Our feet are coming out diagonally and we're coming down into a squat. Very, very nice, nice restful position. And we're dropping our seat to the mat. With this, we'll come back into the Baddha Konasana take your two fingers and you can take your big toe of your left foot and extend and back. Your right foot, extend and back. Now both legs out. You could take the in, the pinky side of both feet or your calf, whatever you can reach. And I'm going this way because we're going to do a little have a little fun with this. So we are in this yoga, very famous yogi stance. 
and we are going to just because we're here and I know a lot of people probably did this when they were here just having fun meeting so many other people and just being together we're going to roll backwards and you're going to come back up and that didn't work up into the straddle it takes a little practice you can just have some fun with this so you're rolling back and you're coming up it's a little hard this ground is so uneven but not to make excuses and we'll come back and up and just do this a few more times on your own if you like you could bend your legs help yourself up we'll do it again and we're in a seated position now i'm going to show you a little trick so you're in this seated position and you don't have to do this if your your fingers are wrapped around your big toe let me make sure my block is out of the way so you can just land all together you're going to land on your calf but you're pulling your foot up you don't want to land on your heel i show you again you don't have to do this but it's fun to challenge yourselves so you're coming down and you land on your the calf one more time otherwise you just do this on your own down so you're picking your foot up so you're not smashing your heel down otherwise otherwise come down any way you like and we are in the straddle and we'll walk our hands forward one more time and come down we'll round it up and down round it up and down round it up and we'll come down and rest you could rest on the block you could put it at any length you like and round it coming up i came up with a leaf it is fall almost fall i think we have maybe two more days of summer so we're bringing our feet over to the side of the mat we're making our way down onto our back and we're bringing our knees in and we're bringing our legs up to the sky take your hands on the back side of you and we're bringing our feet up over our heads we're coming up into a shoulder stand and you can take your feet the soles of your feet together in goddess and bring your legs back up to the sky they call this the mother of all asanas your feet can come up over your head and you're rolling this time one vertebrae at a time. You're back to the mat, bending at the knee, give yourselves a nice hug and take your block and put the soles of your feet to the mat. Take your block at any height, put it just above where your tailbone is and we're coming into a reclined back bend any length you want. We're winding down any length you like, not in the middle of your back, but very close to your tailbone, just a tad bit above it. You really earned it. It's really nice to rec have a reclined bridge, taking some nice breaths. We really made our backs much more flexible today, just having fun with all the movement. Take some nice breaths. And they restored this bindy, bizarre trail. They restored it so that the, it is open to the public. We saw some horses on the side of it. It was really fun. And they restored this entire area and opened it up for many concerts and many bands that are still together come here to play, to perform music. It's attracts quite the audience you're lifting your hips up so that you can remove the block dropping your seat to the mat 
Extend one leg out at a time. We're going to come into Shavasana. Have your feet go to either side of the mat and splay open the palms of your hands up toward the sky. And take some nice breaths so that your body can absorb what all it has done. And breathe. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Make little circles with your wrists and your ankles. Bring one knee up at a time towards your chest. Give yourselves a nice hug. And roll to either side of the mat to make your way up into Sukhasana. Cross-legged position, easy pose. We'll place our palms together in prayer. And thank you so much for joining Amazing Trails Yoga here at the home of the Woodstock Festival of 1969 at actually Bethel, New York, where they have many, many concerts now and in this magic forest. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel so we can communicate. You could tell me what you like, what you want, any, anything and I will respond and have a beautiful, groovy day. Namaste.